Welcome back to P2 Aero and the Rams S21 project. Today we have the elevator on the bench. This part has a few interesting complexities like a trim tab and counterbalance provisions. The plan is to build it with Clecos as far as I can make it just to make sure that everything fits and to confirm I have the proper order of operations. A good majority of the holes are already drilled in everything that I've built so far. But there are some left up to you and in this case, the outboard trailing edges along the aft spar need to be drilled. Lining up the skins gives you a great drill pattern and makes short work of it. While assembling the frame, you have to think about what parts to rivet first. In this case, if I were to fasten the main ribs to the spars, I wouldn't be able to get my gun in there to pull the rivets for the trailing edges. So that's where I started. I found that simply using the table's surface is sufficient to help line up the parts for fastening.
pick up the phone. This is also a good time to put in the nut plates for the trim tab motor. The center holes need to be stepped up to a number 11 bit, so I grabbed a couple and stepped up to that size. Then I prepped the skins by removing the tooling tabs, so I can start positioning the trim tab hinges. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of building the trim tab, but it's pretty simple. I did a few trial runs with clamps to figure out where the hinges should be to allow alignment of the skin surfaces. Using the light that reflects off of the bends on the spar can help you get these perfectly level. The plans mention trimming the hinge if it ends up going into the radius of the trim tab spar. In my case, when aligned with the elevator's trailing edge, the Dash 3 hinge stock is too long. I happen to have some Dash 2. It's the same thing with only a shorter tab, so I'm going to give that a shot, and as long as I can maintain proper edge distance, I won't hesitate to use that on the trim tab side of this hinge. I had to break out the long drill bit to reach all the way in there, but this process worked pretty good, with the exception of the center two holes in the center hinge only. I had to mark those, drill them with a 40, and step up to a 30 after clecoing the hinge back in place. I think I'll just call it a wrap here on this one. In the next video I'll clean up all these hinges and then we need to bend the leaning edge of the skins just like we did on the rudder. After that, I think it's time to start throwing rivets at this. Thanks for watching.